GPUs are getting faster and faster every day. Can we use them to speed up our molecular dynamic simulations? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to this video on molecular dynamics on GPU. Molecular dynamic simulations are computationally expensive, at least for most systems that we are interested in. This makes it very challenging to reach a time scale that is relevant for our systems of interest. One way to speed up our simulation and to get to longer time scales is to make our simulation code more efficient. This is a software solution of our problem. In this area, we are lucky because most simulation packages today have very efficient code. So the next step is to increase the speed of the hardware on which we run our simulations. Let's have a look at our options here. The first option is to use more CPUs to run our simulations. This means that our simulation code has to support multiple CPUs. The next option is to use GPUs. In this case, our code must be able to run on GPUs. Another option would be to use a CPU plus FPGA combination. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. They are something between hardware and software. They are programmable hardware with a very high performance compared to general purpose hardware like CPUs. In this video, we are going to focus on the GPU option. GPUs are graphics processing units. They are specialized hardware for doing extremely parallel tasks. Let's see how fast they are for our purpose. To run molecular dynamics on GPU, first we need to choose the right package that supports GPUs. I am going to use the OpenMM package. In the OpenMM website, you can see a bunch of benchmarks. In these benchmarks, it is measured how many nanoseconds per day of a certain system can be simulated using different types of hardware. These simulations are run on three configurations. One with CUDA library on an NVIDIA GPU, one with OpenCL library on the same GPU, and the last one on a 16-core Intel Xenon CPU. There's a huge performance gain when using a GPU. Okay, let's continue with our simulation. Since I do not have a good enough GPU on my computer, I will use Google Cloud Platform to run my simulation on a GPU. First, I create a Compute Engine instance that has access to an NVIDIA GPU. I add one NVIDIA Tesla GPU to my instance, I choose an image that already has the CUDA library available, and I create the instance. After that, I log in to the instance and install the OpenMM package. Next, I run one of the examples in the OpenMM package. Later, we will run the same example on a Google Cloud instance without the GPU to compare the results. To run the example, I first clone the Git repository of the OpenMM package because the example is in the source code. Now, let's run the example and see how long the execution of this simulation takes. On this GPU, our simulation takes about 11 seconds. I am now going to create another instance without the GPU to run the same simulation. This time, I choose 4 CPU cores and use the same image as the other instance to make sure that our comparison is as fair as possible. Here is the result with this instance. It takes about 4 minutes to run the simulation. This is much slower than the instance with GPU. Okay, this was Molecular Dynamics on GPU. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and share it. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye.